Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 30th of August. Alabama's weather stays dry today, but that might change down the line as we get into the holiday weekend coming up. And of course, the tropics are active with a new tropical storm. So let's get in there to discuss things. We'll start with the Skycam Network early this morning. First off, coming from downtown Clanton, down in Chilton County, the sky is clear. There's our Fayette Sky Cam up in uh, northwest Alabama. Not a lot of folks out there at 5 o'clock. And from Tuscaloosa, getting set for the opening weekend of college football. Wow, summer has flown by. There's a water vapor satellite imagery, and very dry air covers Alabama, as you can see. Uh, 588 ridging off to the west. Westerlies are up north, as you might expect in late August, and Still feels pretty good, at least away from Birmingham. Birmingham clearly got that urban heat island thing going with mid-70s, but to the north, look at the low 60s for Haleyville and Gadsden. And again this morning, some of the cooler pockets have come in with upper 50s across North Alabama. Feels good. And around the nation this morning, look at all those 50s up to the north. Over the northeast United States, that feels just like fall. Down into Kentucky and parts of Tennessee. Also 40s and 50s out in the northwest, so... Uh, starting to look more and more like the fall season there. Of course, it's still pretty warm over Texas. In fact, it looks like some folks out there sitting in the upper 80s at 5 o'clock around Wichita Falls. It has been so hot for so long out there. Well, not much happening with the weather this morning. Watch warning map, just as quiet as could be. and uh, No formal severe weather risk today. Tomorrow, just a slight risk way up north of the Canadian border. QPF chart still looking very interesting. Uh, this potential for this uh, tropical wave coming up toward Galveston and Houston and Lake Charles. Uh, the HPC guys are showing five inches there just offshore. And that is something they could really use out there. And this is valid through uh, Saturday evening at 7 o'clock. And again, for us, nothing. Having said that, you know, there might be a little speck or two on radar by Friday or Saturday, but clearly... Uh, nothing widespread is expected through Saturday evening. All right, tropical action. First off, there's your new tropical storm out there, Katia. And uh, in the Caribbean, watching that uh, disturbance south of uh, the island of Cuba. First off, there's a look at Katia. Looks pretty good. Very uh, nice presentation. Got some banding going on, so uh, this thing will likely ramp up pretty soon. First off, the intensity forecast, goodness, uh, you got uh, most models bring it to at least a Category 2. Some bring it up to major hurricane status in five days, and even one takes it up to a Category 5. There's the uh, forecast track, good consistency. All the models want to bring this thing north of the Leeward Islands, up there uh, north of 20 north. And traditionally, when they get up there in that higher latitude, they don't affect the Gulf of Mexico. They, they either bother the east coast or they recurve now uh, there's the official track from the hurricane center they bring it up to major hurricane status late saturday night and again they've got it north of 20 north and uh, the longer range models want to recurve this one which makes sense climatologically speaking and you'll see the uh, european and the gfs here in a bit and there's that uh, wave in the caribbean that uh you need to keep a close eye on that. That'll be coming up toward the Gulf. And again, uh, some of the models bring that to uh, tropical storm force and want to run it up toward Texas, as you'll see. And the question is, will that moisture help us get some rain in here at some point down the line? Let's look. This is the GFS. This is the OZ run valid at 7 o'clock local time this evening at 500 millibars. Old 588 ridging here. And down below that, another sunny day. Uh, the dew points remain pretty low. The dew point should be in the 50s today. Highs low in mid-90s, basically just like yesterday. Uh, tomorrow, the uh, GFS tries to bring a little moisture in here. But again, I just don't think there's sufficient evidence to support mentioning any chance of showers. And really the same thing on Thursday. 
Again, low to mid-90s, probably 92 to 95 both days. And there's Friday, still looks dry. And of course, to the south, we're kind of watching the wave in the Gulf. Saturday, as we start the weekend, uh uh-oh, yeah, we see what's going on down there. First off here, we've got a 588 ridge. Got a strong short wave coming across the northern plains. And down below that, by golly, the GFS develops a tropical-type depression or storm south of Morgan City, Louisiana, with deep moisture coming up towards uh, New Orleans and the Gulf Coast of Mississippi and Alabama. And a lot of people have a Labor Day weekend uh, outing planned down there. Big, you know, big end of the summer bash. And uh, just keep an eye on that. Uh, this could suggest the weather could be wet at places like at least Gulf Shores and Orange Beach. Maybe not as much Panama City. Sunday, the GFS brings that deep moisture on up into South Alabama. Uh, the surface low is coming uh, closer to the Louisiana coast. Uh, and again, big rains for Pensacola and Destin and South Alabama, but not North Alabama. So, you know, th- there's a front north of us. The front is uh, near Paducah, Kentucky. And then Monday, the front kind of eases in here on Labor Day. And the, again, the surface low is just kind of meandering over toward the Texas coast. And uh, the, I'll tell you now, it's going to be low confidence in dealing with this. Well, there's a very real chance we could have a tropical storm coming up toward Galveston or Houston. And there's a very real chance the moisture could be involved with that front. And it could be a pretty rainy day here Monday, although this run not necessarily suggesting that. And we'll peek at the output uh, for Tuesday. And um, the, the front kind of stalls out near Interstate 20. So shower chances continue from Birmingham south that this is right, and that that low is showing up really over south Texas. And we note over on the right, that's uh, Katia, well to the north of Puerto Rico. Check the uh, European on uh, Tuesday evening. It's pretty similar. It's got the, the tropical storm down there at the southern tip of Texas near Brownsville. And it's got Alabama dry as could be on Tuesday with the front coming all the way through here and somewhat cooler air. And really, the moisture not getting involved here. So, you know, you got the two camps with the European and the the GFS. Makes for a low-confidence forecast. We'll go out there on the 8th of September back to the GFS. Another cold front coming in here. Just maybe that'll bring us some rain. This is uh, Thursday of next week, and uh, Katia is moving north, well east of the United States. And on the 10th, uh, Katia is on the way out. Not making landfall. Look at the cooler air coming in here. That looks pretty encouraging. Those thickness values coming down. Yes. And um, by the way, this is the uh, European ballad uh, Thursday of next week. And it's doing the same thing. Just to show you, it's got Katia well east of the Carolinas. Might be close to Bermuda. But again, stays well offshore. We'll check the end of the forecast, the 14th of September. That looks good. Look at the trough, full latitude trough there over the uh, U.S., and that would bring down some nice, refreshing continental air. A sign of the times, if you will. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you're local to us, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.